Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this week's video is the start of my spring cleaning series. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss my upcoming videos in this series. And before jumping into it, I wanted to share a little epiphany I had the other day. I decided to start re-watching the Friends series from the very first episode on Netflix, and I was watching it in bed and it hit me. I'm Monica. Let's go over the facts here, okay? So there's a cleaning thing. I am hyper competitive at board games. I love to cook, it's one of my passions. And I married a Chandler. So basically, if Monica decided to dye her hair blonde and start a YouTube channel, this would be her channel. So getting back to business, this week's video is going to be the dirtiest areas in your house that you may or may not be aware of and how to clean them. I had quite the fun time doing research on this. It was a little disturbing, I'm not gonna lie to you. There are way too many things to go over in one video, so I just decided, whoa, my guard dog, she's, she's really threatening. And I realize there are too many things to go over in one video, so I'm thinking if you guys do enjoy this, I'll do a part two at some point in the future. Give this a thumbs up if that is something you want to see. And with all of that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So first I wanted to talk about what to use as a disinfecting agent because I personally don't like using bleach. Using bleach and other chemical cleaning products releases what are called volatile organic compounds into the air, which are both toxic and carcinogenic. And you really don't need to use them because there are other natural cleaning agents that are equally as effective and they're not gonna put your health at risk. The first is oxygen bleach. This disinfects and cleans just as well as chlorine bleach, but because its active ingredient is hydrogen peroxide, it is non-toxic. Then there are cleaning products that contain thymol, which is an extract of thyme oil. And according to an EPA study, I will have it linked down below, this is as effective as bleach and it's natural and non-toxic, completely safe to use. Another thing I use around the house is a distilled white vinegar cleaning solution. This kills around 99% of bacteria and 80% of mold and germs. I just use this for regular cleaning and wipe downs, not for deep disinfecting. And for my cleaning, instead of using paper towels, I now use rags because they're more environmentally friendly and also they're cost effective and I just make sure to use a new rag for each job that I'm doing so I'm not cross-contaminating anything. Okay, so now we're gonna get started room by room starting with the kitchen. So the dirtiest thing in your kitchen by far are the sponges. Because they're damp, they are a breeding ground for bacteria. You want to make sure you are cleaning these daily and it's super easy to do. You just want to pop them in the microwave for two minutes and they are disinfected. The kitchen sink is a no-brainer. I think it's probably already on your radar. But what you also wanna pay attention to is the faucet handle and the soap dispenser handles because those are also things we're touching while our hands are still dirty and a lot of people neglect to clean those areas as well. So just make sure while you're cleaning your sink, you're also cleaning off the handles of both your soap dispenser and your faucet. You also wanna go around and clean all the knobs and handles in the room. This one might seem obvious, but a lot of people do forget to wipe off their light switches, cabinet handles, different knobs around the house. And this doesn't just apply to the kitchen, but to your entire house. If you're a pet owner, you also want to pay attention to your pet bowls and make sure you're washing these. You can put them in the dishwasher if they're dishwasher safe, or you can just wash them by hand with warm soapy water. I also will wash the mat that I put the bowls on, and then I just let it air dry outside in the sun. So as cute as these can be, pet toys can also be quite contaminated. I saw in a study that these are the most common objects in your homes that contain the staph bacteria, so you just wanna make sure you're cleaning these. So once you're able to peel these away from your pet, then they're really easy to clean. You just want to pop them in your washing machine on a gentle cycle, or you can also wash them by hand in the sink. So speaking of washing machines, especially front-loading ones can be breeding grounds for mold and mildew in that front rubber gasket. So to clean this, I use a solution of my oxygen bleach, one scoop of that in a bowl of warm water, mix that together, and then I dunked a rag into it to saturate, and then I wedged that rag into the area where most of the mold is, which is that gasket area, and I let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour, you wanna wear gloves while you're doing this. You also want to have the windows open for ventilation since you are dealing with mold. The next step after you remove the rag is just to take an old toothbrush or any brush you have to remove any of the remaining caked on mold. 
This washing machine we inherited and it was pretty badly stained so I wasn't able to get all of it off but it did make a difference and I noticed because it smells a lot fresher. Then to finish this off I threw in my cleaning rags and I ran them on a complete cycle on the hottest setting with my oxygen bleach and this removed the majority of the molds. Next moving on to the bathroom I think you obviously know to clean the toilet itself but one area that does tend to get overlooked and can be just as contaminated is the floor that's around the base of the toilet especially if you have men in the house ladies you know what I'm talking about so it's best to spray your disinfecting cleaner around the area and let it sit for five to ten minutes before wiping it down that is going to maximize the disinfecting power of your cleaner also make sure to not forget to clean off the flushing handle on your toilet that also tends to be highly contaminated. So some other things in the bathroom that many people don't think to clean are both your toothbrush and your toothbrush holder. Have you looked at your toothbrush holder recently? I'm telling you, these things can get so nasty. So the easiest way to clean these is just by popping them in the dishwasher or you can just clean these by hand using hot soapy water. To disinfect your toothbrush, the easiest thing to do is to soak it in antibacterial mouthwash or in hydrogen peroxide for just a few minutes. So the last area I'm going to touch on today is our office, our desk area. I saw a study that said that our desk area has 400 times more bacteria than a toilet seat. So it is definitely something you want to have on your radar. First thing on my desk I'm going to clean is my keyboard. I just spray some of my disinfecting cleaner onto a rag just so it's slightly damp, not soaked because you don't want to damage your electronics. And then I just wipe down the keyboard and for those in-between grooves I use a Q-tip. So then I just use the same method to wipe down my mouse, my mouse pad, and both the front and back of my cell phone. Your cell phone is particularly important to disinfect daily because you're touching this to your face and that can spread bacteria onto your face, which can then lead to breakouts. The other thing here I like to clean is my headphones. I pop off these rubber ear pieces and I wash them in just a bowl of warm soapy water. For the speaker part, I'm careful not to get these wet. I just wipe them off with a dry cloth to remove any excess residue on it and then I pop back on the clean ear pieces. Some other things I do to keep things clean around the house is I use an air filter. I have one for upstairs and one for downstairs. This helps reduce odors, allergens, and mold spores that are in the air. I also like to run my essential oil diffuser with tea tree oil in it, which is a natural antiseptic that's going to help clean the air out as well. This is especially good to do if you or someone in your house is sick and you want to prevent it from spreading. So that's gonna be it for this week's video. If you guys did enjoy it and you're excited for the rest of my spring cleaning series, then give this a thumbs up. I'm only going to continue with the series if you guys are enjoying it, so please give me your feedback. Thank you guys, as always, so much for watching and supporting my channel, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. My board games. I love to cook, it's one of my passions, and I married a Chandler. Married a Chandler? So, not true. Is this because of my third nipple?